Hello all builders uh, out there. Um, okay, this will be my first video related to uh, making your uh, removal and reinstall uh, mold for, give you a hint, you can do it as you like. Um, it's the way I do it. And the way I do it is I, I got these plates. They can also be made in, with wood, but this one is fiberglass that I had laid around, and I can uh, because of previous uh, wound winds that I did coils, all kind of sizes. I still have a lot of money on coils, and I still have them laying around, so I'm gonna use them. The only thing bad about this is that it kind of flex a little bit. So when you're applying pressure to the uh, to the wire and, and you got layers it slides and it pushes the plate basically on the upper layers where you have to end and 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 then it, the, the coil starts spreading out so then i use on top of uh each of these plates i use this uh iron plate that i also use on the on the generator for demonstration um okay i cut an aluminum um, before I did them with a uh, fiberglass and it's a painful way of doing this and for another set of coils that I did uh, and I smoothed them down and, and anyways it's easier faster to get a piece of aluminum uh, an aluminum um, plate thin and cut it with a special um, you can get, get this tool in case you don't have it. it it's it's a metal cutter cutter to to. Uh, I also have air tools to do that to do this, but then it's a long way to go. I want to make it so people can reproduce this project in their garage with the tools that they got handy. So, anyways, the place you can make them in plywood that is not flexible, like quarter inch. And, and and you can do it easier M better than this i guess you don't have to use the plates anyways i put the aluminum i use a, a a plastic gun to melt it and hold it in place real tight the aluminum you have to make it smooth don't leave any cutting edges so it can cut your wire off and i do this little hole there right next to the edge so i can get the wire out Okay, the wire when I start the first layer. Okay, and then the way I do it to remind myself, because you, you, someone can call you, is I did also a hole on this plate, and I put a notation here that I'm winding all these coils in CCW on counterclockwise. And this is the start point, always. Because once that you start turning the coil, you didn't make a notation, you don't remember where you started. Or when you're going to start, I have done it, and uh, I have started clockwise, which is not a big deal, but it's, it, it, it doesn't give you the same result. So you all should do them either clockwise or counterclockwise. I went uh, counter because it gave me better results. I tested with clockwise, and it's not the same. have no idea why. Anyways, <clears throat> after I'm done... With the aluminum mounting and I put this, uh, I glue it with uh, I glue it with this glue because I can lift it up and I can reuse this plate, take it off and, and, and build another in case I gotta build a thicker coil and I put them on. I also have a, uh, a small plate for smaller coils, fiberglass uh, plates and you can do it that way. I put this paper around it that I previously cut half inch. And this paper, it's, uh, they sell it in the wire and electrical supplies. It's, it's a thin insulation, uh, high temperature, and it's using motors to put them in between the, to put it in between the, the armature when you're winding a rotor, uh, on in the case of a brush motor or the starter on a, on an induce, induction motor, you put them in the in the slots, and that way the wire when when you're winding it, it won't 
rub against the metal of the armature, the steel. Anyways, uh, this is it. I put uh, that paper in here and then I put, use uh, tape to, to close it. I put it pretty tight and this stays here. Now the trick I have is to put another tape that is gotta be smaller and it doesn't matter if it shrinks, I reuse it. And then you leave it like this. Once you put it, you leave it. You do not close it. You do not use a, a tape for this. You leave it loose. Let it loose. And I'm trying to do this with one hand. And then you put the final uh, paper that's going to stay here. And, and, and this one is going to stay in the coil, this, this last paper. And it's going to be easier to uh, slide it off. Because once that you have your coil already wound, you just remove this, pulling it, and it, it gives you a little gap to play with to pull it out. Okay? Anyway, that's a little trick I use, and it has worked for me. Uh, the other tools, which are cheap, is a putty spreader knife, plastic cannot be metal that I used to to get the push the the coil out from all around and then I use the thicker part and I go like that and I start uh, pulling the, the whole coil out it's very important that you remember the wire you have at the start to straighten it so and, and it's very good to use the finer part of the of the putty knife to start sliding in between to push it and 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 try not to leave any wires behind because once that you pull it it can come apart and then I put the other plates and I use a bolt and a knot and I assemble it I put the plate I put this plate it, this hole I did it in order that I can pull it out I, I write the direction I'm winding now this tape, this tape I'll put the link down. This is a special tape. It's very fine. It uh, you can apply high tension to pull the the layer. Once that you got the full layer of wires, then you you use this tape to pull the the wires and and wrap it around and give the final compact to each layer. I use it in between layers because when you have a layer that doesn't have any wire and you're winding on top, and you put pressure, your wire is gonna spread, or it's gonna try to go in between the other layer. That's not good. I like to be, because it's gonna start getting all different shapes, okay? And at the time of pulling out, the pressure is gonna pop, and you don't want that. <laughs> you, you, wanna, you wanna go, believe me, you wanna go smooth in this operation, because you gotta build a lot of those coils. Um, if you are a lathe guy and you can build your own, cut your metal and, and, and thread it and shape it, and, and I use this also as a mold to, to wind right here. I put, I also put the tape, the paper and the tape and the whole thing, but I use this as a base. Um, it's good to have a... A paint uh, stirrer, pretty uh, heavy, not not the cheap one that are all flexible. And I use this to to get the wire, any imperfection in the wire, to get it. I press it with my hand and I pull it. I use my nails too. See how they look, because I use my nails to get the the the, the wire straight, take any wrinkles out of it with this. And I also from. From a circuit board, uh, it's made from mica, very strong uh, material. I, I built uh, like little, like a flat screwdriver in, in wood that I use it to go in between layers, straighten it, push them, get them off the corner, get them out so I can get the other wire in. It, it's kind of tricky. I use also this bamboo needle play, uh, pliers and to grab the tape when I'm trying to lay it around or to grab any wire and put them in place. 
and so on. I, I think this is it. I cover everything. This paper, I put the, the supplier. It comes, I found it exactly in half inch. Great. They can cut it for you at the, any size you want, but you have to pay an additional fee. And uh, this is the people and this is the type of tape, the RR2000. This is pol polyamide, polyamide tape, it's a high temperature. And I'll give you the website, you go in there and I'll point out the, the specific link for, the, for this type of tape. Now they make them also clear, which is, it looks nice and beautiful. Okay, uh, and the way it's very attractive. The color is beautiful, but it's a piece of shit. It, it doesn't stick as, as good as the rust color. The rust color is much better. This is a spent money. It looks beautiful. Your coin looks wonderful. Once I, but it can't come apart at any time because it's glue. It's, it's not good. Anyways, I believe I cover everything. And this is it. Any question, this board, uh, this uh, topic I built on the builder's board is for you guys to ask me any question that you have in your build when you're building it, and I'll be more than happy to answer. All right, thank you, and have a good one.